Good morning, and a very warm welcome to another week of Bible-based devotions from Queen's Road Baptist Church. We're going to be looking at some scintillating psalms. There's certainly plenty to choose from, 150 in fact, which makes it one of the largest books of our Bible. So if size matters, it is a very significant part of the whole. There are four things I'm aiming to do each day this week. Unwrap some of the background information about psalms. Think about the themes different psalms might highlight. Look together at individual scintillating psalms and possibly for you to take it further. So what are they and why are they in the Bible? A simple glance at any point of the Old Testament book of Psalms shows that words are not laid out as normal text, which has right and left-hand justification and indentation for each new paragraph. But rather, it's set out as a poem would be written, because from a literary point of view, the Psalms are just that. They're indeed poetry. Some other Old Testament books are similar in this form. Proverbs, Song of Songs, Lamentations, and several of the minor prophets. There are also further examples of this poetic form within a lot of New Testament books. Perhaps poetry resonates or speaks to us on a more emotional level than dry text. It can surely transport us to a different plane of wonder or despair and express our innermost feelings. Today's psalm is number 42. The writer of this psalm is a person of deep personal faith but needs reassurance. It begins, as the deer pants for streams of water, so my soul pants for you, O God. And before we read it, we'll just think about how two musicians put part of this psalm to music, one in the 17th century and the other in the 20th. So the 17th century song, as pants the heart for cooling streams, when heated in the chase, so longs my soul, O God, for thee and thy refreshing grace. For thee, my God, the living God, my thirsty soul doth pine. O when shall I behold thy face, thou majesty divine? And in the 20th century, as the deer pants for the water, so my soul longs after you. You alone are my heart's desire, and I long to worship you. I want you more than gold or silver. Only you can satisfy. You alone are the real joy giver and the apple of my eye. I wonder if you are familiar with one or other of these songs. Perhaps poetry lends itself better to song than plain text. And certainly many psalms over the years have been put to music. But let's have a look at Psalm 42. As the deer pants for streams of water, so my soul pants for you, O God. My soul thirsts for God, for the living God. When can I go and meet with God? My tears have been my food day and night, while men say to me all day long, Where is your God? These things I remember as I pour out my soul. How I used to go with the multitude, leading the procession to the house of God, with shouts of joy and thanksgiving among the festive throng. Why are you downcast, O my soul? Why so disturbed within me? 
put your hope in God, for I will yet praise him, my Saviour and my God. My soul is downcast within me, therefore I will remember you from the land of Jordan, the heights of Hermon, from Mount Mizar. By day the Lord directs his love, at night his song is with me, a prayer to the God of my life. I say to God my rock, why have you forgotten me? Why must I go about mourning, oppressed by the enemy? My bones suffer mortal agony, as my foes taunt me, saying to me all day long, Where is your God? Why are you downcast, O my soul? Why so disturbed within me? Put your hope in God, for I will yet praise him, my Saviour and my God. The psalm acknowledges there are low points in life. The whole of life is not lived as a mountaintop experience. It's okay to question God. If you'd like to take this a bit further, then read on with the whole of the rest of Psalm 42 and indeed the following one, 43. It's highly probable that 43 and 42 were originally a single poem. Can you spot the chorus, where all three choruses pop up? Do you think it offers good advice? I'll leave that to you to think about. The Lord's my shepherd, I'll not want He makes me down to lie In pastures green He leadeth me The quiet waters by In pastures green He 